Right, welcome back to a Frenchies road trip video. Something slightly a bit different today. You're joining me and James, or James and I, if you want the uh, proper English. Uh, yeah, so James and I will be traveling some lanes of Marlborough whilst we're testing out James's new CB. Uh, I will be using the Midland in here, so I've got the Midland M5 in the disco. It's a nice sunny day. It's the 31st of July, 2024. Come along with us, we hope you enjoy the drive. So, <laughs> away we go. Now we've done these types of lanes before, many times before actually, over the last couple of years. Have a look on our channel. Uh, you will see them. Uh, most of them are with the Freelander. We do still have the Freelander, so don't be worrying. Uh, Freelander 2 is still with us. Uh, hoping to do some um, laning with that at some point. Uh, and some more technical videos I think also coming up for the Freelanders so keep your eyes on them. Discovery is doing well, uh, it's just had new front shock absorbers so they seem to be working pretty well at the moment. The old ones were, um, well they were originals actually. Right, I think our first lane may be coming up. Oh, somebody with an umbrella. Here's our first lane. In we go. Right, can you hear me, James? Loud and clear, really clear, actually. Oh, yeah, can hear you loud and clear as well. That's really clear. Quality as well. All right, slightly overgrown since we last come down here, but. Um, Can hear lots of twanging. Aerial hitting the um, the uh, roof rack. The blind is bending back and it twangs into the roof into the roof rack as it comes back. <laughs> oh well, that's that's all right. It's doing better than the other one we had then. Even the trees is absolutely fine. It's just wobbling around. <laughs> So I've had to turn the uh, auto squelch up a little bit just so we don't get so much feedback when um, when the transmission's ended. Oh yeah, this has, uh, has overgrown since we last come down here. You know what, I'm actually really impressed with this. I think the clarity, as in you coming through to me, is clearer on this than it is on the um, President Randy. When bearing in mind the President Randy was a 300 pound, you know, handheld, and it's really good quality handheld. This was uh, 119, and I think the clarity on this is better than the President Randy. It's interesting, isn't it? The uh, price difference. Massively. down in these dips now usually there is quite a bit of water but what with all the dry weather we've had oh there isn't very much at all what with all the dry weather uh there's not very much water at all it's more of a puddle surprise me Remind uh, the viewers, what um, what model of Thunderpole have you got in there? Right, so I've got the Thunderpole T3000 uh, mobile um, CB unit. And I've got it linked up to the antenna, which is currently on the uh, to, on the boot on the top. Over a hatch mount, and the Thunderpole orbiter orbital HD I think it's called, which is about one and a half meter long antenna. On the, uh, on the back of the car. I've got the antenna routed just uh, for the camera in mine. So where the windscreen is, I've got it routed along the windscreen, up the pillar, through the um, headlining, then out the back and towards the boot. And as we were saying earlier, the clarity you coming through, I know we're really quite close together, so we will do some distance um, checks 
very shortly, but yeah, the clarity is really good. Yeah, well, you pulled over just now. You just had a listen. Obviously, I just just played back some of the footage to you, and you just had a listen. And yeah, it's it's really good, isn't it? Yeah, really impressive unit. The build quality as well, really impressive. Um, we are using, well, we got the Midland M5. We got that in the Freelander as well. Um, considering also, I think, upgrading to the one you've got in the range because that does look quite a very good piece of kit. I think most importantly, this compared to the Midlands is its user friend friendability. It's, it's, it's really user friendly, you know, it's everything. So everything's, you know, within a push of a button compared to the Midlands where you've got to go into menus and stuff. You know, if I want to change mode or change change band from FM UK to Europe or to AM, it's just at the push of the button. I want to scan, I push of the button. Everything is literally just a simple push of the button. Uh, I've even got buttons on the uh, Thunderpole uh, mic, handheld mic that comes with it, so I can change the, change the channel and engage auto squelch, which is another thing this has got, which is auto squelch. Yeah, that's one thing I, I, I struggle with the Midland, the tiny little display and the various different buttons that I have to go into and press to change anything, really. You know, shock to use the Midlands as well, the fact that AM only one watt of power. Excuse me. The, um, you, you only get one watt of power on the AM, uh, on AM with the Midlands, where with um, both this, the President and the uh, handheld TX you've got, all um, still go full power, four watts on AM. All right, a few dips here. <clears throat> the range at the moment, um, we're gonna be really close together because James is only just behind me as we're laning, laning on the lane, so let's get some distance on us now and uh, what we'll do is we'll reset the tripometer on the car and uh, see, see how far we can go before things start losing reception so we've come to the end of this lane virtually uh, there's a bit of water at the end but I was trying to, well we always try and avoid that um, it's also very very green <laughs> So what James is doing is using an air pump to cool down the camera, which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Right, lane number one done. Uh, Don't well, stand I... over there so they can hear you. They probably can't hear you over there. Oh yeah, yeah, you probably can't hear me because I'm by this like vacuum. Right, so lane number one's done. I've had to take the uh, microphone casing off the GoPro because that was causing it to overheat. Uh, yeah, this over here is usually full of water and all the dry weather that we've had, as you can see, it's just all virtually disappeared. So we're not really having any uh, any troubles with water and mud at the moment. There's a bit on the on the wheels, but that's just what we've driven through. All right, it's always important to make sure on a hot day you have plenty of water. Yeah, we would highly recommend the Three Trees Farm Shop for uh, breakfast. Very nice. Oh yeah, that was really enjoyable. Yeah, we really enjoyable. There, we? we do. First time I've actually eaten. We're gonna do a range test now. Bearing in mind, it's gonna be slightly different because we're not on a flat, flat surface. So I'm going up that hill up there where I pointed out earlier. Let's reset the mileometer. Let's bring the serum around so you can see. Hopefully. Uh, right, we'll press this button here. There we go, 0, 0.0, might not even be a mile. Okay, channel 22. Phone back, CB on. Now, we're also, just in case we have problems, when I get up to the top there, we're gonna be using an application called Zello. You may have heard of it. Um, basically like a walkie-talkie on your phone, it uses the data on your phone. So just in case we lose each other, we can use the phone, the Zello on there. So. Right then, I should go at the top of the hill. Are we ready, sir? Yeah, you, you crack on. I'm yeah. Live and ready to go. You're live and ready to go. Right, I'll just see you up there and hopefully the GoPro won't overheat. Just make sure I've got, yeah, I've got battery. Right, see you up there. <laughs> no cars come in, out we go. So this is the 
this car park is at the very top, so it's Barbary, Barbary Castle Car Park. And um, there's all the mud and everything flings off the off the tyres there. And smell it on the car as well, actually all that dirty water that we went through earlier. Stinky, stinky, stinky! Car's doing very well, temperature's all normal. Fuel has actually gone up actually, <laughs> I don't know how that can happen. Fuel's gone up slightly, it was on three quarters, it's gone above that now. How are we doing from here? I can see you going up the hill. Yeah, we are 0.4 miles going up the hill. Sounds like you're still next to me. Yeah, it does uh, likewise actually. That's a hell of a difference. I mean, on the motorway when we test the four on the return from the Peak District, I mean, a lorry between us and we knew we couldn't communicate. <laughs> I know. Right, I'm getting there. I'm nearly there. What am I now? 0.5 miles. Half a mile from me now. Okay, just turning into the car park. Half a mile, you're absolutely fine. I mean, as should be expected as well. I mean, this should be good for a few miles, but half a mile is a good mile. Yeah, I'm not sure how far it is, but it's not too far. Yeah, it's not too far. I'm sure yeah, I've picked up a slight bit of static. I've just come around the trees, but. Uh, other than that, it's still really clear. I'm now in the car park and I will pitch up by the bin with a very good view. On my way. So that was a good test. 0.6 miles we got of that and we could hear James really clearly. So let's uh, do a nice reverse over here. <laughs> it's quite quiet, isn't it? It is very quiet. Your horn, the horn on the Range Rover is very complimentary, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's quite very, squeaky, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very complimentary. I don't know what the disco sounds like out. It might be the same. Oh, it's a different tone. Oh. Oh, there <laughs> <laughs> Right, that was really good. Yeah. That was very impressive. That was a hell of a lot better than we've had before. We've had before. A lot better. Um, yeah, you've got, I, I think it was 0 0.6 miles. Yeah. But as I a crow here. flies, it's as probably about half a mile. Half a mile, yeah. yeah. Um, bear in mind, you're using... I'm, I'm, I'm up in the Evans. The biggest, yeah, the biggest <laughs> area I think you can use. Um, I'm using the one that you gave us, which is the... Is that the Mini Orbital? Mini Orbital, or yeah. Mini that's Orbital. The Orbital HD. Right. I think you've got the Mini Orbital. So uh -huh. don't quote me on this, but that's about 75 centimetres. Mine's yeah. about a metre and a half. So, uh, lane number two, test number two. So, James is going to lead on this one. James is going to take the lead down lane number two. I'm going to stay put, not in the car park, I'm going to stay put at the start of the lane. And then uh, we're going to do a range test. So, we're going to see how far we can go with the CB. So, check on the car. Oh, I hope so. right. James is off already. Let's put that on into drive and away we go channel 22 so GoPro's a bit more high, I have a tendency to slouch in the chair. Right, and then this lane is out to the right of Barbary Castle Car Park. Are you so, parking up then? So I will go a little bit more, so uh, if we just keep going a little bit more. Let me know where you're stopping, I'll reset my uh, mileometer. Static comeback from James. I'll probably have to readjust the auto squelch. So, so down in through the woods. This bit isn't too bad. Check for this crater here. That's it.
I think so. Right, the lane, so James is gonna go off into the distance and the lane actually goes off into those trees, uh, it meanders around to the right and then it drops back down. Uh, so we'll see how far we can get on here. James is gonna reset his myelometer yep, and um, see how far we get. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Point one in. Okay, I can still hear the rumble of the Range Rover. You hear that for the next three miles. <laughs> oh, lovely long straight in front of me now, so I'll, I'll shoot you a bit of distance from you now. So you can try to see what happens when I reach the half a mile mark again. Okay, yeah, you're still loud and clear on this end. Right, water, 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 water. I've also got the uh, handheld TV, so that'll be quite good to try out. Let's try that on the uh, handheld. There we go. Right, just trying you on the uh, Thunderpole handheld. Last oh, sight is but it's still crystal clear. That's 0.4, nearly half a mile. Still crystal clear. Yeah, you're really loud and clear on the fender pole and on the midland you're coming through in the car as well. Just out of curiosity, what um, antenna are you using on the uh, TX? Uh, it's the long range one. Ah, uh, you got the extendable um, antenna. Yeah, the extendable one. But you're coming through both on the midland in the car and, well, obviously on the handheld I'm talking to you on. Half a mile now, we're at 0.5 of a mile, half a mile in. Yeah, really good. Uh, really loud and clear. Yeah, absolutely fine, as expected. Car that is. What's the terrain like? Absolutely fine. The roads, I've managed to get about 15, up to 15 mile an hour, and it's a couple of little bumps and ruts, but it's absolutely fine. It's not overgrown or anything. Well, that's good. I'm still, uh, I'm still transmitting on the handheld. Uh, still loud and clear. Yeah, absolutely fine. Can't complain. Well, I will transmit on the um, car unit. Okie dokie. Right, transmitting on the car unit. Midland in the car. Loud and clear. Still, yep. Yeah, five by five. Absolutely crystal clear. Oh, very good. Okay, yeah, that's 0.09, so we're nearly at a mile now. Right, this is really, really good compared to all the other CD tests we've done. Was it last year? Uh, yeah, it would have been last year. Yeah, this is doing really well. I'll try it again. I'll let you know when we hit a mile. Okay, uh, back on the car unit now. Okay, yeah, that's a bit clearer. How are you hearing me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Well, right now I'm on the car set. Yeah, I can hear you on the car set. Absolutely fine. Oh, sorry again. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can hear you now. Loud and clear. I don't know what happened there. Okay, that's exactly one mile. I've stopped at one mile mark. Keep going. <laughs> Here we go. When you get to two miles, we'll have to send a flare. <laughs> I'm talking to you on the Midland, um, all, all is well and good. Yeah, I'm picking you up absolutely fine on the Midlands. Throw the handheld. Okay. Anything on the handheld? Are you receiving me on the handheld? It's not as good on the handheld, the Midlands is better. Oh, okay. Uh, you're still loading here, so am I coming through to you Not really, okay. If you're hearing me loud and clear, just for just do a quick check, put the TX, the uh, put the TX onto AM. I'm going to switch to AM, channel 22 AM. 
Okay, changing over to AM. So to do that, we just press mode and band, EU AM. Uh, 22 AM. Are you receiving on AM over? Are you receiving? Are you receiving on AM over? Are you yeah. receiving? Why? That that seemed a different. Are you receiving? Oh. I'm receiving you, but it doesn't sound like you're receiving me. Coming through now? Something strange is going on here. Receiving over, are you receiving on AM? Yeah, I can hear you on the handheld on AM, but I guess I'm not coming through to you. Oh, are you receiving? Are you receiving? I think I'm picking something else up here on AM. Try back to FM. Are you receiving? Hello, are you receiving? Yeah, you're coming through loud and clear on the handheld and on the car set. Oh, hello, channel 22. Are you receiving? Oh. Oh, I'm receiving you on the handheld and I'm talking to you on the handheld, but it doesn't sound like you're receiving me. Okay, hang on then, go back to the... Uh... Oh, hello, channel 22, you're receiving. Hello, hello, channel 22, you're receiving. How about now, I'm on the car set. I can hear you absolutely fine on the car set. Ah, we lost you on the handheld then. Lost you on the handheld, I did switch to AM, but I was getting a lot of interference from something else, which is why I don't think it was working. Okay, well I can still, yeah, you're still loud and clear on the Midland um, handheld then, I've lost you. That's interesting, yeah, on the... Um... Yeah, on the, on the T3000, absolutely clear. Yeah, I can, I can still hear you on the handheld, but obviously you're not picking me back up as I'm transmitting back from the handheld. Ah, okay. Um, I mean, you could try the TX on the antenna. I could try. Let's go with the um, short. Sure. Let me have a look. Okay, I'll stop here. I'm at 1.2 miles, 1.2, coming to a stand. Yeah, the cable for the car set is too short. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, you're you're not as clear now. You're um, I can hear you okay, but you're not, you're 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 nowhere near as clear, and that's at 1.2 miles. 1.3. You hearing me okay? Hello, hello. Are you receiving me okay? I think you may have lost me. Are you receiving? If you're wondering what's going on, <laughs> so the temperature outside is probably nearly, well, it's going to be high te high 20s. Um, yesterday was the hottest day of the year, and it could even be that again today. And the cameras we are using, so we're using the GoPro 11, James is using the Insta360, and they just cannot cope in these types of weather conditions with the heat. And strangely enough, we even suffer with them in the winter. Uh, I just don't know wh wh why they have these problems, but they do. Anyway, James has gone a distance, I think, of 1.2, 1.3 miles. Um, we have lost the ability to be able to communicate back to him using the Midland and the handheld uh, Thunderpole TX, even on the long range antenna. Um, the terrain though, he has gone some distance. He's gone right out over there beyond the trees. He's gone uh, right down this, this straight part of the lane now. He's actually sent me a uh, what three words um, location of where he is. So we can show you that on a comparison on the video. And that's coming up now, hopefully, with a bit of camera trickery. Um, so yeah, what we're using, we're using an app called um, Zello and um, I'm able to communicate back to James using the Zello application. He's then talking back to me and I can still hear him and we're gonna see how far he can go um, before communication is at a complete loss. So let's try talking back to James to see whether or not he can hear us. I'm using the Zello app 
and you all know Paul from Blackfoot, um, and we can still hear you through the Midlands. Oh. <laughs> uh, you might have lost your when I turned the car off. Oh, yeah. I'm going to carry on now. Bluetooth is connected. Yeah, we just lost you in that momentary blip. That was me turning the car on. It, it cut the radio out for a second as it uh, tripped the power. Right, so, uh, yeah, you're at a distance of 1.2, 1.3 miles. I'm at 1.3 miles at the moment. Radio check, radio check. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's still loading clear. Impressive, really impressive. It's just such a shame I can't talk back to you on it, though. But, yeah, you are coming through loud and clear on it. Bit of static, but, yeah, otherwise loud and clear. <laughs> Absolutely fine for me as well. I mean, obviously, you go through the phone, but, yeah, it's... um. Yeah, the antenna obviously does the difference. I'm quite open here, actually. I'm very open here. It really Try does. I might have to consider getting one for the disco then when we do that. I'm quite open here, actually. I'm very open. Try. With, with it being so open, try the in-car and try the TX again on FM. Uh, transmitting now, car set. Hello, hello, I can hear you. Oh! Wow, okay, so how clear are we? Very. Oh my goodness. Right, we're back in contact, two miles away. What you say, I, I got goodness out of that. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah, I got quite impressed with that. So yeah, being in the open obviously made a difference. I don't know where I am in regards to you as the crow flies, mind. Uh, I tell you what, if you can, at the nearest opportunity, pull over and get a, um, what, three words. Uh, oh, well, actually, there, well, we know there was only one tree or two trees along that route where I crashed the drone. Are you anywhere near there? You're saying, excuse me, but I heard you say what three words. Okay. Yeah, get, get a what three words location. I'm just going to transmit on the handheld and see whether or not you can hear me any better. Understood. Let's try that. I've then got all this two miles of lane to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, transmitting on the Thunderpole hand. How am I coming through, James? Let's go a bit higher. Transmitting on the Thunderpole handheld. Am I coming through, James? Oh, I've lost him. Lost him, lost him, lost him. So I tried a couple of times on the handheld, but guessing you couldn't hear me. Ah, uh, nothing come through, no. Ah. I'm thinking the what three words location. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Um, I can still hear you on the Midland, though. Thank you, Nike. The camera's just gone off as well. Yeah, I'm carrying on a bit further. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so I might lose you on the uh, Midlands. That's okay. You're still going too loud and clear on the Midlands. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I've gone, I'm going quite far down now, I'm quite a downhill into the trees again, so I might lose each other here, radio check. Right, GoPro's back on after overheating again, uh, what's your range? 
I'm at 2.8 miles, 2.8 miles, just shy of three miles. I'm at the very end of the lane. Uh, can't go any further than this point, whereas I'm on the main road. <laughs> oh, shut the door. <laughs> just gonna try, I'm transmitting again on the handheld. Yeah, you're really clear on the uh, thunder pole on the handheld. I've just tried transmitting again, but I don't think you got it. <laughs> oh no! I did. I did receive you though. I did receive your uh, transmission. So um, yeah, really clear on the uh, handheld unit. Yeah, it sounds a good idea. Make your way back uh, and then you have a swap over and then I'll go out. Bloody marvellous. I'm going to enjoy some water and an orange. <laughs> that is so funny how I can hear the Range Rover that far away. Oh, there you are. I can see you, the glistening of the range. No, I can't see you. <laughs> there you are. You're just, you're just about to come into view now. There he is in the mighty Range Rover. He's reappeared from his near enough three mile trek. Very impressive. Pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> uh. Right, so James is back and we've done a uh, antenna swap. So he's got the Mini Orbiter uh, on his Range Rover and I've now got the large, <laughs> long antenna thing <laughs> uh, on the Disco. I'm also Try, uh, trying out James's President Randy in here as well. So he's got the, the Thunder Pole in the range and um, that's linked up to a mag mount um, outside the disco. So uh, it's my turn to go down the lane. So we will see you in a bit. There we go. So we're in low range, first gear, hill descent activated, let's go. We should hear the brakes independently. There we go, foot is off, off the pedal. And we're going down, down the hill. Just trying out hill descent. I'm amazed I could do that. <laughs> did, did, oh no, it's the free land. It was the free land that lost hill descent, wasn't it? Yeah, hill descent is broken in the free at the moment. Goes really well as we come down the hill. Marvellous. Right, we can go out of hill descent. 0.7 on the miles. 0.7 coming through absolutely fine at the moment. How am I coming through for you? Yeah, loud and clear. And uh, what was I just about to say? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. I am going to switch over to the TX and have a play with that for a minute. You know. So I'm on channel 23 on the Thunderpole TX handheld. How am I coming through? Oh yeah, loud and clear, like the Roger Beef at the end, yeah, very loud and clear. That's really clear, yeah, you're crystal clear on the TX. Going uh, through the wooded section now. Okay, it'll be interesting if I lose you now. How, how, how clear am I at the moment? Very clear, very loud and clear. Perfect. Right, are you hearing me now? Can you do another check for me? Yeah, you're coming through very broken now. You're start I'm starting to lose you now on the T3000. I am uh, on the long straight bit now, just coming out of the trees. On the long straight bit, just coming out of the trees. 
Yeah, that's understood. You must be at just over a mile, are you? Yeah, 1.1, 1.1 miles. 1.1, if you didn't get that, it's 1.1 miles. Yeah, I said 1.1, I'm starting to get a lot of static though. 1.2, 1. yeah, around 1.2 is where I lost you before, where you you lost communication with me. Uh, 1.1. Okay, so when you get to 1.2, we'll do another test. 1.2, 1.3, be interested to see what happens. Yeah, I'm on the TX now. I've lost you completely on the 3000. I can just vaguely about hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, got you back on the Zello. Um, yeah, that's the same, same as before then. Yeah, you're crystal clear on the TA, absolutely crystal clear. Um, the T3000 lost you, I might switch it back on in a second, have a listen, but you know, I'm actually picking you up on the handheld. I think it's because the handheld has got a much longer antenna. Um, then I am actually picking you up on the in car. Yeah, it's really good that um, antenna on that handheld. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, try and put, put the T3000 on, but I don't think it's going to come through. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even getting the green light, so it's even picking you up. Try the President Randy. Just yeah, nothing. I'm getting nothing coming through at all. Yeah, try the President Randy, just out of curiosity. Testing, uh, testing. Uh, President Randy, 23, receiving. <laughs> President Randy, 23. <laughs> Nothing on that one. I think I can turn hill descent off on that one. Doors just locked themselves. I think that's because I turned the car off earlier, it just unlocked. I'm getting, if you're using the present, I'm getting nothing come through. Maybe on channel 23. Let me try again. I'll try the president again, and uh, we'll see what if anything happens. Hang on. Yeah, understood. Understood. Anything at all? Right, I'm transitioning now back on the mission. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, nothing came through. Um, try AM channel twenty three AM on the president, Randy. I'll switch over to AM now. Testing OM, testing AM. Anything on AM, anything on AM? I'm on channel 23 AM. Channel 23 AM, channel 23. Channel 23 AM, channel 23. So GoPro back in action after its uh, heat issues. Has your camera cooled down? Is your camera cooled? My, I've just lost my camera, so I'm no longer filming. Yeah, GoPro back and functioning after its uh, overheat episode. I'm now at the crossroads, bearing right. I am 1.7 miles still. Yeah, 1.7, understood. I've lost my, um, my camera's died, it's overheated. Is your camera able to start filming again? Yeah, yeah, the GoPro is filming. I can stay.
steady over these little rut things. Right, I'm out of the crossroads. I've just gone past the farmer's gate. 1.8 miles. Uh, now back on the um, the lighter gravel. Go back into. Yeah, all receiving on the Midland. Yeah, I see what you mean about this bit. It's quite out in the open. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm now picking up speed a little bit more because it's more out in the open. 1.9 miles. I'm going towards the tree that I crashed the drone in. Yeah, nice and steady down the dip. I think what I'm going to do, rather than coming back up the lane, I'm going to go round the road. I think it'd be quicker to go up the road and down a different way to go and see James. 2.4, 2.4 on the miles, just going back down into the little um, hillside now, so we might lose each other again. So I've got to the end of the lane. I am 2.7 miles at the end of the lane, where the main road is. We've gone to AM 23. Let's see if we can call up on the present Randy. I'm on the um, mag mount now with uh, with James. Uh, right, cameras on. You are live on 23 a.m. President Randy, long range antenna. Are we coming through over? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, that was really strange. Try again. Uh, 23 a.m. President Randy on the long range antenna. Are you receiving, James? Interesting. 23 a.m. on the long range antenna. President Randy, are you receiving? Over. No. FM 23, oh hang on, FM 23 UK, are you receiving? What's going on now? I've lost you on the radio, are you still there? Oh dear, oh, oh hang on then, what was that, go again? Yeah, receiving, we lost you then. Sat in the car, I didn't like me being sat in the car with the ambulance, the uh, CA. Ah, that's what it was then, yeah. So, yeah, uh, AM23, camera is rolling. You're coming through really loud and clear at 2.7 miles away. Uh, should we go back to FM? Right, back to FM UK 23 on the President Randy long range antenna at 2.7 miles away. Are we coming through loud and clear? Clear, crystal clear. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a, that's a bit strange then. Was I able to talk to you at the end of the lane? I can't remember. Sorry? Was I able to talk to you at the end of the lane? I can't remember. I don't think you were. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's really strange, isn't it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you are coming through loud and clear on FM UK 23. When I got to the end of the lane, you were picking me up crystal clear as well. Yeah, I won't transmit back on the Midland for a minute because you're on the um, 
president. <laughs> right, I will work my way back. I'll just keep you on the president for now. And um, I will go the other way round, which is about five miles. I won't be two minutes. Right then. Yeah, go and via the main road, so I'll meet you back in the car park. Yeah, main car park, I will see you there.